we want to try to get close in on him and try to get as many guys around him as we can uh, on the stiff arm. We know that it's a powerful stiff arm. And so basically, uh, depending, depends on when he puts it out. You know, if he puts it out early enough, you can try to break it down uh, to keep it from being a stiff arm per se. Uh, but if he's got good timing with it, which in, in many cases he does have good timing with it, uh, you're not able to to break it down and then he hits you in the chest, arm, face mask, or wherever. Uh, that And that helps him gain yards. But, uh, you know, he's a strong physical runner with, with really good speed. And the thing to do is if you can keep him from getting to the second level, then that gives you the best chance to slow him down. Romeo, this season you guys have completed more passes for 20-plus yards than uh, than you did last year. Is that by design because it doesn't matter who's playing receiver, you're still getting those 20-plus plays? Well, I think that uh, the receivers have to have enough speed to, to get down the field. You know, and if you got fast guys uh, who can get down the field, then you have a chance to to throw the ball to them, uh, throw it and let them run under it, or because of their speed, people back off of them, and then you can press it and then pull up, uh, run a curl or a comeback, and then you can still gain a chunk of yards that way. So it, it's a combination, you know, of the speed of the receiver, um, the ability of the quarterback, you know, and, and I think it kind of goes hand in hand. Sarah. Romeo, Brandon Cooks came in kind of a weird offseason and didn't have a fully healthy training camp with Deshaun. But as the season's gone on, he, the two of them have built a good relationship, it seems, and have built some chemistry. How have you seen that relationship grow? And what do you think they did to help build that? Well, I, I think that by working together, you know, uh, you can help develop those kind of relationships that both the quarterback and the receiver needs. You know, that that position, those positions, uh, you have to kind of count on your teammate and, and you need to know what he's going to do. He needs to know what you're thinking and what you're looking at so that you both can be seeing the same thing. And, and sometimes, you know, video study goes into that so you can see what the opponents are doing, uh, what you can anticipate their movement will be, and then you can adjust your route as you need to. And if the receiver and the quarterback are on the same page, then you can have a successful pass play. Uh, and so when you're not able to work together, it's hard to get the trust and the, de uh, and the dependency that you need to make those kind of plays. Aaron Wilson. Hey, good morning, Romeo. How you doing? Good morning. Romeo, uh, you could tell us a little bit about what's going on today uh, for precaution reasons, uh, the way you'll conduct practice, the way you'll conduct meetings, and how are Whitney Merciless and Eric Murray doing if you've been able to get in touch with them, talk with them about their health. Well, I'll start with those guys. They they both are, are recovering. Uh, they don't seem to have any serious uh, symptoms. You know, they got the, the milder things, the headaches and the body aches. Uh, but I think that they're improving from when uh, I've texted them and talked to them. And so now they have to, you know, wait out, wait out their, their sentence, so to speak. Um, but I think that they're doing okay. Now, today, because we have had uh, some positives, uh, we are basically not letting the players in the facility, um, but we are having a walkthrough where they'll come and, and we'll have a, a, a walkthrough for about an hour and then they'll leave. And so uh, they are not using the facility. They come in, we go to the field, we walk through and they leave. Uh, and so we are hoping to cut down on um, the interaction between players uh, when you're not on the football field, you know. Uh, and so uh, everybody's wearing masks and, and we'll get uh, some fundamental work done that we need to get done as we go into the start of this week. And Roma, you don't think you'll have to put anyone on else on reserve COVID as of right now um, in terms of like close contacts, things like that? Is this basically you think it's isolated right at this point? At, the, uh, at this point, I hope we don't have to put anybody else on. You know, right now it's it's been it's been vetted to the point where uh, we've identified 
the potential contacts and uh, and they're negative. Uh, but because of the policy, you know, they've got to wait a couple of days. So uh, uh, that's the way you have to deal with it. And that's the way it works. Brian Barefield. Coach, piggybacking um, off of what Aaron just asked you, has the league contacted you all about moving forward as far as what the what the protocol of what uh, what's going to be in place moving forward as far as next season is concerned, so you all can start preparing for like you know training camp and things like that? No, they they have not. You know, uh, they might have spoken with Jack uh, a little bit about that, but I think right now the league's focus is on trying to finish the season. Uh, and then and see where the virus is, see where maybe the vaccination program is. Uh, and then I think that they'll focus on the off season after that, because, you know, with this virus, it's hard to make concrete plans, uh, as you can see during the course of this season. You know, when you lose players and guys have to isolate. Uh, so I don't think that they want to go too far out uh, as far as making plans. Mark Berman. Hey, Romeo, have y'all, will this, this, uh, the way y'all are handling the players today, will that be the same way tomorrow as well in terms of uh, nobody comes into NRG, they work out and go home? Uh, I don't think so. I'm hoping that tomorrow we'll have a normal practice, you know, uh, but because of, of the uh, positive tests that we've had, we felt like that uh, to keep the guys away for a couple of days would be the best thing. John. So if a normal Wednesday practice is Thursday, does that mean a normal Thursday practice will be Friday? And how does it hurt your offensive line? Because you could start the same guys that finish Sunday. Does this hinder them? Uh, because now they know they're going to be together. Well, it hinders a little bit because, you know, you're walking through, you're not really, practicing per se uh so that does hinder you a little bit but at this stage in the season um you don't have pads on anyway you know uh and so it's the timing of the play that becomes the issue and uh and so we're missing out on that a little bit but but tomorrow rather than being a wednesday it will be a combination wednesday thursday and then friday since you're beginning to get closer to the game friday will be a normal Friday. Romeo, is Kahali wearing where you want him to be mentally and physically? And how important well, is off season for him? Well, I think he's making progress in our system uh, and his understanding of the game, um, his understanding of reading defenses, uh, all of that. He's making progress. And I think an off season will be excellent for him. You know, and I expect to see uh, him take big steps going forward. Aaron Wilson. Hey, Robert. You were talking about Keon Cross on, on Sunday. Uh, with Keon, what have you seen from him just overall this season in terms of growth uh, on the defensive side of the football? We already you know what he can do on special teams. But just overall, what do you see from him, his improvement? Yeah, well, Keon has always had a lot of confidence in his ability and and what he could do. Uh, and now he's getting an opportunity to play defense um, uh, pretty much on a full-time basis, you know, and, and I think that you see that he competes. Um, he will accept the challenge. Um, I mean, you know, he's not perfect, but he learns from his mistakes. And uh, so I, I see him getting better and being able to uh, make plays on the ball and he tackles you know, so I, I think that this opportunity for him has been very helpful. Romeo, when you look at this week and in terms of uh, <clears throat> the other side of the football with the offense, what do you feel like you guys can get done in terms of having kind of a makeshift line uh, this week with, uh, you know, your injury situation? Do you expect Laramie to play? Uh, do you expect him to practice? What, what's kind of the situation with Laramie? Well, I hope he plays, you know, because he's a starting starting left tackle. Uh, so that would be good for him to play. Good for us if he plays. Uh, but I've got to see what the trainers say. And, and generally what we do is we go through the week, uh, see what kind of progress he makes during the week, and then make a determination toward the end of the week uh, on that. 
Berman? Romeo, do you have any further thoughts on uh, your plans for Deshaun on Sunday, how you're going to use him? Are you going to start him as normal, how he's doing, that sort of thing? Well, as far as I know, he's doing pretty good, Mark. Uh, uh, and I haven't heard that he's not doing well. And so since I feel like he's doing good, I hope he does good on Sunday too. All right. Thanks, Coach. All right.